hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be renovating this closet we started earlier so i'm just gonna give you an update of some of the things we did and where we are now as you can see the wall is looking so rough and ugly it had some tiles on it we went ahead and removed them we also took out one old section of the closet this is the other part that we're going to keep the reason for doing that is because we wanted to create some more walk-in space. So some of the tiles were cracked on the wall, so we had to remove them one by one. So this is how we removed some of them. After we removed the tiles, we went ahead and we removed the tin set. We used a chisel and a hammer and we removed all the tin set that was left on the wall. This is how the wall turned out after the tin set have been removed. The portion of the closet that we took out earlier was on the right side here. So as you can see, it is a little bit more spacious. All the drawers were on this side also. So I'm going to incorporate some of them on the left side. So now I'm building the shoe stand on the other side. I'm not going to overcrowd this side guys because remember the ultimate reason for redoing this closet is to maximize the walk-in space. So now I'm creating the shoe stand beside the chest of drawers. So initially I was planning to put back the chest of drawers also. I went further and I added an handbag display stand beside the chest of drawers. And this is where I stopped. I didn't go any further. So this is an open space, adequate amount of walking space for two to three persons. Now this is the finished look. I'm just going to get it sanded and then we can jump straight into spray painting. I'm just using white industrial enamel paint. I'm adding some thinner to thin down the paint so that it can easily pass through the spray gun. Now I'm measuring for the consistency of the paint after which I'll just strain it. I would recommend that as long as you're using a spray gun, you should strain the paint to remove any debris or particle so that it does not clog your spray gun. So 
to I sprayed half of the closet and I left my partner to spray the other half. I could not manage to complete the whole closet, you know, it was too small and claustrophobic for me. So now I'm working on the drawers and I am hand painting them. I prefer to spray paint them, but because I want the project to move a bit faster, I have decided to hand paint them. So if you don't have the spray gun, you can hand paint. It's just that there's a certain technique that you have to follow as long as you don't leave any brush strokes. So as you can see how I'm painting them, I'm just using one stroke, one stroke, one stroke. The closet has been completed guys. This is the finished look. So bright and beautiful guys. I love it. I love the outcome. The white gives it a total transformation. It's so lovely. It feels so spacious and airy. Even though it's a small walk-in closet measuring 14 by 5 feet. The section that we took out gives it a lot more room to walk and breathe in. So now we are going to add some glass shelves and we are going to put back everything that was in it and I'm going to show you what it looks like after it has been styled. So this is right at the closet doorway on entering i created this small section for her to store some additional shoes and bags that will not be on the shelf and also this is where she will store her belt i also use the cricket to create these two wall signs they'll be framed later on up top we have the storage baskets on the right and suitcases and comforters on the left now this is where I have all her pants and shorts in one section. Short shorts, mid-length pants, short suits, romper, pantsuit, everything in pants except jumpsuit. At the bottom here, I have skirts, short skirt, long skirt, skirt suits. Now, top here I have all her blouse. At the bottom here, I have all her casual dresses short dresses now moving on over here I have her bra tights and her underwear and I have a little shelf up top you know she can rest any stuff on it it's a glass shelf at the bottom here we have her crop tops short t-shirts and other short blows and this in these drawers we just have some everyday wear you know just everyday jeans wear like work at this section now we have all our long dresses mid-length dresses you know some of these these are the dress she'll wear when she's going out right here i have a vogue sign that i created on this section we have our shoes i created these glass shelves and these are some additional shoes at the bottom in this section i placed all our shades and our eyeglasses I place them on an eyeglass stand. Also, we have all our perfume right here. I place them in different trays. And also, below that, we have our jewelry. So this is our chest of drawers. So in the top drawer, we have our everyday casual wear. And in the other drawer, we have our night wear. And then the other drawers going down, we have swimwear, laundry, scarves, and socks. Now this is our bag display stand. I bought some glass and I created about four shelves. We also add some of our jewelry in one section because she has a jewelry box. And now, so we have additional bags going down. 
and as I mentioned before I created these wall signs for her they will be framed later on also this is a hang bar so this is the part of the wall robe I like the most this bar is to hang her clothes that she has picked out to wear so when she's picking out her clothes she can hang them here instead of throwing them all over the closet so also these baskets are for additional storage some of them are seasonal wearing them and they are labeled and the label can be changed these are her suitcases and some comforters and in the middle here i added a mirror even though the mirror is on the door and i also added a little stool below the mirror near to the shoe stand so that she can sit down and put on her shoes so guys that's it for now if you enjoyed this video do remember to leave a thumbs up remember to subscribe if you have not i'll leave my amazon associate link for all the tools that i use all the material and all the organizers such as the storage boxes the jewelry holder the underwear holder the draw divider everything that i'll use i'll link them in the description down below thank you for watching bye i'll see you in the next one